Welcome to Being at Home with George. And this is Thanksgiving week. And last week I talked about my adventures at the Palm Desert Summit. And this week I'd like to share with you the four A's, what I used and talked to at the summit as tools for not only for inquiry, but tools for being able to embrace this Thanksgiving season in a way where we're in love, we're moving towards the joy and the compassion and the understanding. The four A's are actually this idea of being able to embrace whatever comes up and at the same time generate hope. But there's a process of how do you do that. So the first A is awareness. It's this ability to just say, okay, whatever's here is here, to say yes to it, mirror mind. And then the second part of it is the acceptance. And that's the challenging part because it's easy to accept things that are pleasant, but things that are unpleasant or things that are uncertain is challenging to do that. But once we can say, yes, I don't like it, I can accept what's here, then sometimes that's a letting go to be. And other times we actually have to go through the process of grief. We have to go through those five stages of denial, bargaining, anger, depression, and acceptance. And then, but once we can say yes to it, yes, I don't like the fact that I have a toothache. But if I accept it, then the compassionate action is to do something to attend to the pain. And whether that's going to the dentist or taking some type of medication that allows us to be in a comfortable place. So the awareness of it, yeah, there's a headache. The acceptance of it is the second A. And the third A is the compassionate action. It's always coming out of love. It's always coming out of compassion. It's always coming out of what's the solution and then taking responsibility and creating space between stimulus and response. And in that space, we get to choose compassion. We get to choose joy. We get to choose seeking to understand. And then once we make that choice, then the fourth A is this idea of assessment or pause and reflect, if you will. Okay, what worked, what didn't work, and how do I get what didn't work to work? And so if I had awareness, like I'll give an example, when I was dealing with anger in the past, I'd be aware of the anger, but instead of going to acceptance, I would go right to action. And that was because I didn't want to deal with the discomfort, so I just went right to compassion. So I denied that the anger was there. And of course, it didn't go away because I was doing it in order to get rid of it instead of the only way out is through to understand it, to embrace it, to accept it, and then generate the hope and then do the compassionate action. And so then I had to go back and say, okay, it's still here. So what did I miss? Okay, so I forgot the acceptance piece. So now I go back, awareness, the acceptance, then there's a compassionate action, and that's dealing with the anger, learning from it, and being able to come out the other side, being able to let go and to grow. And then the assessment is, okay, so yeah, it worked. And how did I do that? The how-to question, because I saw it, I was aware of it, I accepted it, I created space between stimulus and response and chose love. And then the assessment is, yeah, that works. And then that's the confirmation. And when we do that, the more we do that, then the next time it happens, there's a willingness or there's the speed of trust where I can accept it knowing that I can handle this. It's going to be amazing. And so that's the whole thing is that that's the takeaway. Those four A's, the awareness the acceptance, the compassionate action, and the assessment. So even if we don't do it properly, we can reflect on it and then go in and do it different and keep changing what we're doing until we can get to do what we say we want to do. And so going back to the other one, so if love is my standard, or was I loving enough? Was I not loving? And how do I bring more love to it? How can I just say yes to it and learn from it and see it as a stepping stone, not as a roadblock?